Hello, I'm Leslie Logan. I have another set of tips for your transitions on your mat for you today. So we've done from the hundred to spine stretch, then from spine stretch to thigh stretch. And now after thigh stretch, you do neck pull. And so you just flip on over. Um, and if you have a strap, it makes life really awesome. If you don't have a strap, neck pull is really hard. But let's talk about the transition from neck pull to your high scissors on bicycle. So you are here, your hands are here. Don't make it a big deal. You don't have to move anywhere. You just have to bring your arms by your side and your legs go up. And then you're ready to do your high scissors and it can go into your high bicycle, right? So no resetting, you're just taking yourself into your high bicycle. But here's where everyone gets a little tricky. They don't know how to get out of this. So in an ideal world, your fingertips are pointing towards your heels. You turn your hands to the side and you thigh stretch your feet to the mat to go into your shoulder bridge. If you can't do it with two hands or two legs, excuse me, you can do it with one leg. So you'd be doing your bicycle and then you would just reach one leg all the way down and you turn the hands to the side and you'd be in your shoulder bridge. Then from shoulder bridge to spine twist, anytime you can make it a roll up, you make it a roll up. And that allows you just to come right into your spine twist, which means you get to make it a roll down to go into your jackknife, right? And then when you go from jackknife to side kicks, as best you can, try to keep all this together. Don't make it a big deal. Just move onto your side. Same thing when you go to flip over to the other side. What if you flipped over onto your stomach, made it like a swan, flipped over to the other side? I'll show you how fun that can be in another video. And then you just, after two sides, you just lie on your back and you're back to that hundreds position. So it should be totally within your body already to just come into your teaser. And then from teaser three to go into your hip circles, right? And then from your hip circles, you find your teaser and you actually go all the way out of it before you transition to your next exercise. So I'll take it and then take the rest of it in another section for you, but try those, right? Like how can you focus less on being perfect in the exercise and more about really trying to connect one exercise to the next? Because if you do that, I promise you the exercises will feel stronger, more connected and in air quotes, more perfect, <laughs> right? Because um, you're not having to reset every time and it's not becoming about just the stronger muscles. The whole body is participating all of the time. So make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the other transition exercises and I will see you next time.